my goal here at at GBDSS is to ensure that all students feel safe and supported and included in our school. I want all students to feel as though they are represented in our school and I think the, the Pride Crosswalk that we've had installed here is just one visible representation to show our students that all students are welcome. I think it's a great show of support for our students that are part of our LGBTQ plus community but also a great show of support for all of our students. We were approached by our equity club uh, that wanted to look at having this installed uh, and so uh, I had asked that they uh, put their uh, request in writing uh, and we sent that request on to the Superintendent of Education who very quickly and wholeheartedly supported this initiative. Uh, one of our board's strategic priorities is equity, diversity and inclusion and the group here at Georgian Bay District Secondary School, which is a wonderful facility and led by a really great group of uh, administrators and staff. Uh, has certainly supported the student population in their expression uh, of looking for inclusion throughout. And so this is the embodiment of that over the course of the last several years. Uh, we've had a first responders ball hockey tournament uh, to raise funds for this. Uh, our local superintendent, Susan Sidlowski, listened to the request and tried to move this ahead with Principal Haley McLean, which is a great news story for the community. Equity Club is a, is a club, we meet at lunchtime and we're, our vision is to promote uh, student equity and uh, to help create safe spaces where students feel included, both where they can come and hang out and to do advocacy within the school. It's a student-led club, sometimes we just chill out, sometimes we do school-wide events and sometimes we do exciting stuff like this. Advocacy for LGBTQ students uh, is really a, a central issue that's important to them. So we're here to promote equity for anyone and under any circumstances, but that's been a real something that's been driven by the students, that that's something that they were really wanting and needing. Um, equity Club, the way I see it, it's just a safe space for me to go at lunch. A lot of the time we hang out, sometimes we do school-wide initiatives, sometimes we go this grand. It uh, depends on the day, but it's just a fun little space for you know LGBTQ youth to feel kind of accepted. I grew up here in Midland and my very best friend was gay in high school and it was very difficult in the 90s to be a gay person and student uh, in the high school as a high school student in the 90s. Um, and so as a teacher, I'm really wanting to make that a different experience for my own students. Things have really changed and uh, we're really working to make this a place that's safe not only for students but families, for community members, that everyone feels that they're welcome in our schools. School inclusivity, it's definitely it makes coming to school a lot easier knowing that um, wonderful teachers like Bethany and Lee Morrow are here to like always have our backs. Um, and then having more LGBTQ representation like our crosswalk and we have a lot of flags inside as well. It, um, it just creates a, a nicer environment and I think the awareness really helps everyone in the community. I believe the legacy would be that uh, it's inclusion. It's inclusion for everybody of all different types, whatever their orientation is, you've got a spot in our schools.